So today we're going to do a three-point lighting system <laughs> with a little twist, with little LEDs. Now, I'm not only going to use these in the studio, but I'm going to take one around the building too to show you what this little thing could do. It's only 15 watts. And, and you know, when they contacted me saying, hey, can we send you these? He said, I want three of them because I want to show people what you can do with a three-point lighting system with little LEDs because you really can do a three-point lighting system with these. They work really well. It's an internal battery. I'm not going to give you all the specs. I know they want me to, but I just don't do that. So if they ever watch any of my videos, they know I'm not going to do that. But this thing lasts maybe 60, 70 minutes on full power. It's RGB, has the fan built in, so it stays cool. Uh, it's plastic. It's really lightweight. Um, this diffuser over the top, uh, you know, this takes down the power a little bit, but there's a built-in diffuser too that really, it works well and it's really bright without this. Um, but I'm going to use these with and without these. Uh, but anyway, walking around with these in your back pocket, <laughs> it's great. And it comes in really handy, just handheld, you know, shooting like this. But let's get into video, see how these are. Um, I, 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 you know, I can never pronounce these names. I'm going to put it on the screen. They keep sending me a video saying, this is how you pronounce it. I still don't get it, but I just don't want to torture their name. Amazing little lights. I, I, I'm actually really impressed with these. Uh, you know, I was thinking, oh, you know, another little light. These are actually pretty decent. And you're going to see why in this video, because it was fun to use. I know having big strobes and powerful lights is the best in the studio, but you don't really need them if you don't really need them. Like if you're only doing this once in a while and just want to use these for, you know, a three-point lighting system or carry it around and, and fill some shadows in, these are fantastic. Anyway, let's get the video and see how we do. So we're going to get to the video part of this in a little bit. This is just the studio shots. I just wanted to show these studio shots so I can go through them. Um, LED on each side of her, left and right in the back, and then one main in front. Now, the first shot, when I, these are with the shade open, so this is mixed lighting. Now, I'm going to close the shade, and these, this light is coming just from these LEDs. Now, obviously, I have the light over to my left quite a bit, and you can see the shadow fall off behind her. If I just move that light closer, the shadow's going to be closer to her and fall behind a little bit. And I, you know, I like this look, but a lot of people don't like any shadow whatsoever. And that's easy to fix. All you have to do is pull her away from the background a little bit, and that shadow is just going to disappear. Um, like this one here. Yeah, I have a slight little shadow a little bit to the left of her hair as we're looking at it. Um, and on the right side, you can see a little shadow from her hair. If I just turn that light down, that would have solved that. Now I'm just throwing the RGB uh, lighting on the two rear lights. And I, I love the look. Um, I think it's great. Now I moved her closer to the background and moved the lights closer to the background to give that you know light on the white backdrop. Um, it was fun. This is like really a you know, fun set of lights to use. So definitely three-point lighting is easy with these lights. Now, walking around the building, I just had one in my back pocket, no light stand. Um, I'm just hand-holding it for all these shots and having a blast with it. Now, I'm probably shooting at ISO 250 to 300, uh, give or take, and one one-hundredth of a second wide open. Uh, you know, so, I mean, you, you, you can't, don't expect to be shooting stop down with these. Um, unless you're going to, you know, really handhold slow shutter. Um, and, you know, with some of the cameras, obviously, you can do that, but your model's always going to move. So I, I don't mind shooting it, you know, a hundredth of a second and, and just holding still um, at getting these kind of shots because I'm at ISO 250 to 300 here, and it's, the you know, it looks fantastic. And as you saw, you know, without the light, it, it's pretty dark without the light um, because I went to the darker, you know, spots of the building. But, you know, I do love hand-holding this because I don't want to have to carry around a light stand. And if I just put it in my hand, uh, you know, and use the camera with the other hand, it works out great. And I can adjust the light, uh, you know, instantly because it's in my hand. My hand does the light stand. Um, and, you know, I just, I could actually pull it over my head left or right or directly in the center. And I get some really good imaging. And again, here's how dark it is without the light. Um, and I have that light behind her. I, I just wanted to shoot into that a little bit. Uh, to see how the camera would handle it more than the light. But the light did fantastic through all these. Um, and I would say I probably got a solid 60 minutes out of these, not the full 70 that they claim, um, which still is not bad at all for a pocket light like this. Um, it did a great job, and I love the images from it. Now, I did use the plastic or the rubber diffuser for all these images. Um, but again, if you're going to shoot further back or get more of like a three-quarter full length, you can take that rubber off um, and 
you know, get more light out of the light. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.